Hey, this character looks pretty cool. Let's see how she looks on the tier list. Nico Dessou. Amber is one of the very first characters you meet in the game, and is the best, albeit only, outrider in the Knights of Avonius. She's cheerful and energetic, but is also always on the lookout for possible threats to Mondstadt and its citizens. Character Overview Amber's normal attack is a 5-shot combo, with the last arrow dealing more damage. Her charged attack is an arrow that you can aim as you like. When it is fully charged up, the arrow has a pyro attribute. At Constellation 1, Amber also shoots an additional arrow when she makes this attack. Charged attacks allow you to hit enemies in weak spots, which always deal critical hits and can disable some enemies. Amber's elemental skill is Explosive Puppet. She sends out a puppet that taunts nearby enemies and explodes after a set amount of time or after enough damage has been taken. At Constellation 2, Amber can shoot the base of the puppet to cause it to explode early. Amber's elemental burst is Fiery Rain. She marks out an area to constantly receive flaming arrows for a duration, dealing damage over time. Amber's first passive improves the area of effect and crit rate of Fiery Rain, while her second passive increases her attack after landing arrows on an opponent's weak spot. Amber also decreases stamina used while gliding by 20%. Gameplay Tips If you look at her second passive and first constellation, you can see that you want to emphasize dealing damage with Amber's aimed shots. This is especially the case since the damage ratios for her elemental skill and elemental burst are rather poor. Use Explosive Puppet to distract your enemies while you snipe them from afar, and use Fiery Rain on enemies when they are grouped or taunted by the puppet. Recommended weapons to build are Sharpshooter's Oath and Slingshot for the early game. While late game you should look to use the Prototype Crescent and any other high rarity bows that give critical damage or attack damage. Artifact sets to consider are the Sojourner's 4-piece in early game and the Wanderer's 4-piece in late game. The majority of your damage will come from charged attacks, so take artifacts that boost your critical damage and attack stats specifically. Artifacts that increase your pyro damage are also recommended. Evaluation In my opinion, Amber is a very strong character for the early game, but fails to find a spot on team compositions in the mid to late game. Mid to late game team comps will often have you rotating multiple characters in a singular fight to make elemental reactions, but Amber's elemental skill and burst are not strong enough to compete with other characters. That said, Amber is extremely strong in the early game. She can easily carry you through the first 20 adventure ranks of content and is able to solo 3 of the 6 elemental bosses. I actually managed to defeat the Cryo Flower using Amber before I even finished the tutorial quest on my stream, which you should check out sometime. Overall, I would recommend you to build Amber to level 30 or 40 at the most, and then swap to teams with better combos. Although you will always use Amber while exploring since she's invaluable in solving those torch puzzles, she does not need to be heavily invested. Anyways, thanks for watching. This has been Nika, and I'll see you next time.